Don't forget the ads feed the ducks and all the ducks that we raised this year were donated to the local food banks. If you want to help out, 50ducksonhottub.com below the video, there's a link. You can make monthly donations, you can make a one-time donation, or you can pick yourself up one of these t-shirts and support the duck adventure. Give to charity this year. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the duck adventure for, oh, I don't even know the date it is. I think it's July 28th or 29th. I'll put the right date on the screen, but i got to show you this here. Um, look at this, guys. Look at the, uh, the steam coming off the lake. That's how warm it is. You would not believe it. Right now, it's 16 degrees Celsius air temperature, and the steam is coming off the lake. That's how warm the lake is uh, from this heat wave we're having. Oh, they heard me. Not yet, guys. Soon. It's only 10 to 6. Look at this cute little dog. I'm going outside, guys, to do a little recon here. Um, but Dougie wants to come out, but he's... The poor dog is not eating. Like, he's, uh... I bet you he's lost 15 pounds. He's lost a lot of muscle, I know that. But the thing is, is that, uh, you know, he's still... He's, he is eating a little bit, and he is drinking, you know? It's just that, uh... It's, it's, he's not doing well. He's having a hard time. And that quill that's in the end of his nose, this morning I almost got it out, guys, uh, but it wasn't sticking out enough for me to get a good grip. Poor dog. Thursday, we go to the vet. All right, guys. I'm, um, I've got the shotgun. And I'm, something just told me, I'm sitting in the house, and I was, I could hear the ducks. They're just going nuts here. It's about, uh, it's, I think it's 20 after 7, but I want to uh, take a look at the tree line here, because usually when my gut tells me, you know, something's going on, because the ducks are really loud this morning, just listen to them. I would sure like to know where this hawk is sitting. Oh, that sun is bright. It's going to be a scorcher day. No sign of anything. That's what happens to a chipmunk when you hit it with a shotgun. Absolutely disintegrates them. I can't believe the amount of chipmunks I have here. It is absolutely crazy, guys. I'm not kidding you. I've, uh... I bet you I've killed 15 of them. <laughs> 16. And I gotta get rid of them because they're gonna, you know, they cause so much damage. They're the absolute, uh, you know... They're, they're the, the cutest of all the rodents, but, oh, man, can they destroy stuff. I know what they do in the garage. They get uh, in the garage, and they start chewing everything in the garage because the feed's in there, and if I leave the door open, they go in there, and they just start destroying, uh, you know, they don't just focus on the feed bags. No, they've got to get into everything. And because I've got so much clothing in the garage... You know, they, uh, um, they, they make, you know, if I, if I didn't take, if I didn't do this, they would actually get in the garage and they would make, uh, nests in, uh, all my clothing inventory that I'm trying to sell on eBay. Nothing down there. It, uh, I've walked around the whole property, actually. Absolutely nothing, except, uh, I smoked two chipmunks, but anyway. Just at the duck house. I'm, uh, I, I, I gotta get this hawk. You know, yesterday that little duckling with the maggots on his neck, guys, oh man, it actually bothered me all night. I was actually talking to my buddy last night, we were talking about it, and actually I did, so I was like 11.30 last night, and I was laying in bed still thinking of that poor little duck, you know, with his neck covered in, in maggots, and it was like, you know, just imagining the pain it, was, it went through, you know, for like how many days was it out there on the lake, you know, in that condition. All right, let's let these ducks out.
All right, so look at these little guys. They're not, they want out bad. Yes, I know. And you're going to come home tonight instead of me having to come rescue you? I can't believe you guys last night. All right. Okay, they're not going to come out right away. Come on up. Oh, I missed. Oh, I had a surprise for you guys, and the ducks are so fast, I missed you this morning. All right, I gotta go and uh, cut this off. So I had the tripod and everything set up down here uh, so that I could get a shot because they're getting faster, but obviously not. I'm not, I'm not fast enough. Well, now I know uh, I gotta come up with another, uh, I gotta come up with another tomorrow, another idea to capture how fast they're doing this. They're on a mission. <laughs> oh, look at this. The little ones. Don't forget to come home. I don't believe this how fast these little guys, even the little ones going to the lake. Like, not many hanging around. Actually, the only ones that really hang around the yard are the uh, Muscovy. Oh, there's Goosley Jr. Just look at that. They're not wasting any time. Okay, let's go down to the lake. Oh man, it's going to be a hot one today. I can't believe this, how warm it is right now. The ducks are like all over the lake already, guys. And of course, because of the sun, we're not going to get the best video footage. I've got the shotgun just in case Mr. Uh, Hawk decides to do a flyover. I might be putting the camera down really fast here. But the sun is just in the wrong place here. I actually need to be on the other side of the lake with the boat. But at the speed these guys are uh, heading down to the lake, I can't even get a camera to the other end of the yard or to put it on a tripod, they're so fast. It's amazing, you know, they come home at night and they know, you know, a place to eat and a safe place to sleep and in the morning they're just, well, they've been going crazy actually, it was about 6.30 their volume really started picking up and they were uh, basically telling me, you know, it's time. Unbelievably fast. There must be still a bunch at the creek playing at the most uh, at the back of the back end of the creek, I should say. I bet you all the little ones are. That's where they are. Getting lots of screen flares here from the sun. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of ducks. I can't believe how far they go out. I can't believe that they go to the other end of the lake. Well, I know I looked this morning and the feeder was stripped. 
They uh, they power pounded three bags of feed back last night. So even though they're, they're you know even though they're down here uh, you know free ranging and and you know and and you know probably eating minnows and you know uh, weeds and they come home and they're still pretty hungry. I can't believe how they scatter. Goose Lee. Alright, there's a bunch of ducks headed over the other side of the lake right off the bat. I gotta bring the uh, thermometer down later today. I wanna see what the temperature of the water is. The fact that we had steam coming off the lake, you know, and it was 16 degrees this morning. I'm curious on how warm the water is. Well, it looks like the little ducks are staying uh, back at the back end of the creek. They, they haven't come out. Well, guys, I'm gonna go and have uh, my breakfast. I'm really hungry this morning and uh, I finished my edit for you guys. It was a major episode yesterday, all the stuff that happened here. I'm hoping today we get this this uh, this hawk. I'm gonna come down here. Well, I don't know, we don't know the temperature situation. It's, uh, it's, we gotta stay, well, the internet's covered in heat warnings right now, so they're talking in the 40s uh, with the Humidex, which for, you know, us Northern folk is uh, extreme, so I don't know uh, how I'm gonna fare sitting out here uh, you know hiding in the sun with camo on we'll see what the day's like I'm uh, I really I got to get this hawk guys that little duck yesterday uh, it was the, the final straw I've, I've got to get it, it it's got to go I decided to do all my work now uh, before the heat hit because I'm telling you guys like it's only 8 30 and it's well I think it's 20 to 9 it's, it's freaking hot already but uh, a little bit of bad news egg recon two eggs Second piece of bad news, which is really bad news, is a handicapped duck. I uh, just cleaned out the front of the barn here and gave it fresh water and got the, you know, kicked the Muscovies out that were eating all the baby food. I picked her up, or him up, uh, and it just vomited. Uh, it just puked everything up that was inside of it. It was uh, not a nice sight. So it's by the water, and uh, I put it in there, and it got out, and it's been circling it and drinking it, but... Uh, like I couldn't believe what it puked up. It was just spewing out of it. Uh, so I don't know uh, what's going on inside this duck, but I honestly think, guys, uh, that it's on its last legs. I think uh, it's just a defective duck. Bottom line, uh, it just, it's not developing right. Something's wrong inside. Okay, guys, for the real bad news, uh, the second bad news. Uh, you know, the first, the eggs wasn't really bad news, but uh, we've got a, a true snapping turtle victim i discovered her in the pen this morning um or him i don't know which one it is i just put it in the water because it was uh, uh sitting on the ground and not doing anything and i thought okay there's something wrong with this duck picked it up and uh over half of its foot it's gone and uh, that's what a uh, a snapping turtle victim ends up happening well actually sorry it's the right foot not left sorry I'll, actually i might be able to get a view here actually i can I can give you a shot through the water because it's nice and clean right now. There. I don't know if that's showing up here on this viewfinder. I can barely see with the sun. But you can see, uh, you know, the inside left side, uh, the inside left of the foot is missing. So I'm going to let it uh, just stay in the water here because, uh, you know, it's nice cold water. I'm going to have to uh, do some more medicine. Unfortunately, because I can't, uh, you can't save it. Can't walk. It's uh, it's having a real problem. Duck Adventure is turning into a real horror show here. Um, I think, guys, <laughs> it's it's getting crazy. Is because normally, you know, we're not out, uh, you know, in a boat, free ranging this this much on the lake, and you know, and everything this early. Usually, you know, it's not till like end of August, September. Um, I think we're just at peak predator season. And, uh, you know, until I solve the problem. And, and catching snapping turtles, 
it, uh, guys. I, I last year I wasted so much time. I basically was feeding the snapping turtles because I couldn't catch them. And I had, I remember at one point, I think I had nine trap line, nine hook lines set up, and you know, if it wasn't for the the minnows cleaning the hooks off, uh, you know, the the snapping turtle was ripping everything off, and I don't, you know, that lake. That lake could potentially have, I'm spitting here, that lake could potentially have, uh, you know, a dozen snapping turtles, minimum, uh, you know, in it. So my biggest focus right now, guys, is this hawk. That's the big problem. And I've got to, you know, I've got to keep an eye out here and keep the shotgun really handy. And, you know, hopefully I can get a, a clear shot at this. Snapping turtle duck uh, died. I just came out to check on it. Um, it was sitting on the uh, the bathtub on the edge uh, earlier, and everything was fine. And I guess she passed away. I know she was really really weak, but look at this is what a snapping turtle does to the feet. You know, that's what a snapping turtle does, guys. It grabs the duck from below, and somehow this duck uh, you know managed to uh, survive that, uh, getting pulled under. But uh, it was pretty weak when I put it in here this morning to, uh, you know, let it uh, wash its feet off and, and relax. And it was fine. Actually, I came back outside um, around noon and it was fine. And you now mid-afternoon, it's dead. Oh, guys, it was a scorcher today. It's, well, right now it's 6 o'clock. I'm just now going to do a bunch. Actually, what I'm doing now is I'm washing the hatcher. I believe it or not, guys, I'm doing it right now. Um, it just finally cooled down. I went out in the lake. I thought, okay, I took the camera down, I went down there, I got in the boat, I lasted not even like, uh, well, I'd, I'd probably say about maybe about uh, three minutes, and I said, no, I'm coming back. It was just too hot. It was not, well, Dougie, he's really suffering inside. Um, I'm Thursday, I really can't wait to take him to the vet and get him checked because uh, he is, um, uh, you know, he's got a flop sound when he breathes. It's a little bit of a flutter, you know, and it's like, and it, it's when he's when he's hot, uh, and today is a brutal day. He's been uh, well. I'll show you. Look at the, these ducks are in the um, are in the shade. Every duck in the yard right now uh, is doing this. They're that hot. It's absolutely crazy. Like, look at the poor little things panting. Well, it's it's so hot, guys, that the ducks aren't even out on the lake. They're all uh, in the creek here. They, uh, it's like, it's absolutely brutal out there. Well, the problem is, is that the lake's not really that deep. So, uh, the, and it's, it's got a black bottom. So the lake gets really hot. Like I showed you in the video, uh, which I think was this morning. I'm, it's a blur here. Um, the steam coming off the lake, it's so warm. And I forgot to take the thermometer down, but the water is so warm down out in the lake that they don't even want to be out in the water. They're out there. Everybody right now, the whole creek is full of ducks. It's, uh. We got to, and they're talking two more days of heat like this. So I'm gonna do my duck chores, and then I'm gonna get to, uh, to washing on the back deck here. This is how warm it is, guys. The ducks are just sitting in the water. I couldn't. I look here on the corner. I'm looking. They look at. They're just sitting there. They're not swimming. They're not doing anything. <laughs> I just can't win with these ducks in the tripod. I uh, I set the tripod up and I actually set it far enough away from the corner here, and I probably heard, you heard the noise there of me uh, dumping the feed bags in the feeder. Well, usually when they hear the noise, they you know they all come from this area and they, they beeline it and come right in and they all basically stand around me while I'm emptying the bag. So I thought this would be a good you know vantage point to catch you know the ducks you know doing their ducks in a row uh, heading to the feeder and.
They're, uh, that's how hot it is, guys. The ducks aren't even interested in food. Doug's upset at me. Um, I brought him outside here and <laughs> he wants to go on a rip really, really bad. But, and he's got that porcupine quill there. I'll try to show it to you guys. He, uh, he, he will not let me near the end of his nose. He uh, knows what I did the last time. Hold still, right there. See it? It's uh, relaxed. It? I'm not gonna touch it. Right there. I don't know if it's, oh God, stop moving, Doug. Right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's, uh, that's the last quill. He keeps wanting to take off and I have to keep calling him back. But I had to bring him outside. He was sitting inside the kitchen. He looks so sad. He, no more, he's walking around the back deck with his nose up smelling stuff. Like, you know, like, oh, I smell something. I want to go for a run. Pretty soon, he's lost a lot of weight. I, you know, I'm really curious on uh, what he, he's going to weigh on uh, Thursday. Because I honestly think he's like 125. I bet you he's lost 12 pounds. At least 12 pounds. I don't know what's going on, guys. It's like 20 after 8, 25 after 8. We've got uh, maybe another half an hour of daylight. And most of the ducks are still at the lake. I have a hunch I'm going to be going back out there again. Got to get back to washing here. I'm so glad I'm doing this right now. Oh, it was just way too hot today to be working with hot water in the back deck. They're going back down to the lake. These are the little, uh, well, they'd be 19 days old. Look at them. It's going to be dark here. Well, I think it's about quarter to nine right now, 20 to nine. I got to, uh, I think what I'm going to do, as soon as I finish washing up stuff here, I'm going to uh, head down uh, and get the canoe and go down the creek and just do a preemptive uh, push down the creek to get them to come home. Uh, some of them are coming home. But they might turn around because their friends are heading back down. All oh, these little ducks are bad. All right, I'm going on, uh, I guess we call this a night recon for the ducks. I'm going to go down and force whatever's in the creek home. I got 28 minutes and my supper's ready, so I got a haul here. What another beautiful night. Oh, I love these summer nights like this. No sign of any ducks down here. All right, let's head down the creek. You know, it's too bad there's not fish in this lake, but all there is is minnows. And honestly, I don't know how the minnows even live here because the water gets so hot. Like, I'm not kidding you. Right now, I bet you this water is 95 degrees. It's really warm. Like it is, like you could fall in other than the gross factor. Uh, it is actually really nice. It's just so shallow and, you know, the black muck, mucky bottom. I don't see any ducks. I'll do the old stand up canoe trick. Okay, I think that's a duck sleeping. It is. It's a little duck sleeping down here. Come on, duck. Go home. Actually, there's two of them down here. Let's go. Go on, little duck. Okay, there's something wrong with you. All right, I got to do a duck rescue. Oh, there's nothing wrong with you, little duck. Go home. Do you believe it? All right. Huh. Go home. What are you doing down here by yourself? Go home. Or let me catch you and bring you home. One of the two. Okay, now it's, okay, let's go do a lunge. Now, nah. all right. I'm going to bring you home through the canoe. Okay, it looks like there's a bunch of little ducks down there too. All right, I'll put her in the canoe. I'm not walking all the way back up here. Wonder why it's deciding it wants to sleep down here. Oh, this is tricky walking down here. This is all floating, guys. All right, duck. I think there might be something wrong with you. Well, that would have been a duck that would have not made it home. All right, back standing up. You know, I was just about to say there, you know, there's no mosquitoes. <laughs> and all of a sudden I can feel them biting my legs. When I was on that back deck, guys, washing, and I think I see it right now, a, a wild female uh, mallard. She flew over, Doug saw it, it came running out of the back of the garage. I thought it was a hawk for a second because it came right over the yard. Yep, there it is. It's a wild female. 
and it flew really low over the uh, back deck and I thought for sure it was a hawk coming in and Doug bolted out of the back of the garage or the back of the house I mean and uh, it, it turned out it was a duck all right ducks look at this I am uh, I don't want to walk in the mud but de yeah it's a, that's the wild one yeah there's it looks like about uh, 15 or 20 little ones oh no there's some more getting out of the grass 30 maybe 30 yeah about 30 it's so beautiful out tonight guys oh man I can see why the ducks are down here yeah that's that female mallard she's uh, by herself and she's not following the ducks Those young babies from the front of the barn, or from the barn, they just don't understand when it's time to come home. I wonder how many more nights it's going to take. Because there's a bunch sleeping over here. All right, I gotta. Uh, I'm gonna head over there. Oh, look at this little thing. I have no choice but I have to get out and uh, do a little bit of walking down the swamp here. Yeah, I got no choice. Look at this, guys. They uh, drill so much of the shoreline out that the root system, it breaks off. Look at that. That used to be part of the shore. And actually, if you look here, this island or this little, I guess a little peninsula, and the, now they're digging it out all around. Pretty soon, this is going to float out. They're doing some serious destruction. Oh, they're moving. I don't have to get out. All right, I'm going to stand up and take another look here. Yep, they're heading back. Okay, I don't have to get out. But the uh, wild mallard is still over there. I don't know how good it's showing up in the video, but I can just barely see it. All right, the ducks are headed back. Okay. Yes, little duck. All right, we're going to take you. We're going to go back to the dock. You know, I still I come through here, and I, I, I remember, you know, the first year out here with the ducks, and, you know, the mouth of the creek wasn't even two feet wide. Now look at this, this is massive. <laughs> that little duck really liked the canoe ride. Oh, thanks for the poop. Oh no, guys. It's green poop. Oh no, Do you got botulism. That's what that is. I think she's, this duck has got botulism. Poor little thing. Man, the ducks. They get in, you know, they're eating rotten stuff. That's the problem in the swamp, you know, they're... They're uh, digging up, uh, you know, we're decaying vegetation, and that's where botulism, botulism comes from, either from a you know, dead animal or like a compost pile, rotting vegetation, and they eat it, and uh, then the toxin gets in their body, and you, it's, it's really a big job, guys, to uh, treat them, because you've got to uh, flush them, and you then you get molasses. There's, oh, it's really quite a concoction that you've got to flush them with because literally you have to blow everything inside of them out. Come on, little duck. We'll take you home and see what happens. Green diarrhea, though. Okay, the little ducks are circling the uh, front of the barn. They want in. You're not going to believe it. I came out, I went to the barn, I had to reset the timer on the barn because it was off by half an hour. I come outside and then I hear the buzzer on my, my uh, the oven go off that my supper's ready. And then I walk over and I look and I was like, I couldn't believe it. A hundred ducks just went to the lake. Look at this. Unbelievable. Like that, there's, well, maybe, maybe it might even be 200 ducks just went down. Now there are some that went down that had decided to come back. There's a bunch here that they're, uh, looks like they're planning on sleeping there. I can't believe the group that just went down to the lake. 
But tonight is a full moon. Or actually, it's about seven eighths of a, a full moon tonight. So it'll be really bright out. Make it easier for the predators to get themselves a snack. I don't believe it. I came out of the barn and I, I gotta have my supper, guys. It's done, and I don't want burnt duck tonight. And Doug is sitting inside the kitchen drooling because I think he knows he's getting a bunch.